Hey guys, today we're in the San Bernard National Wildlife Refuge. Dodging alligators and scouting out sites for upcoming kayak adventures in the salt marshes of Texas. So come let's take a tour because this place is pretty cool. My name is Ziggy and I'm out tearing up the Texas coast on a Windrider 17. Jump aboard because I'm going to take you bastard sailing. A couple miles down this desolate road, 12 minute drive from our cabin, is the San Bernard National Wildlife Refuge. And another three miles down this little road is a little boat launch and fishing pier that we're gonna, we're gonna go check out and see if we can kayak out of it safely. Way back in the day, this was a cattle ranch back here and it's now a big old park. Very little traffic, an amazing amount of upkeep a lot of different trails, some really well groomed, some little you're on your own. Because there's a lot of alligators out here. We're seven miles from the cabin. And pretty much all of it is open, just like this, all the way across. Minus the road. These salt marshes are teeming with life. Mainly uh, alligators, rattlers, and wild boar, and a huge amount of ducks and birds and fish, etc. The locals like to come out here and you just idle down the roads, in and out, and uh, look for gators. We only noticed a couple on the way in, but by the time we got done with the day, we were getting pretty good at spotting them. On the right out, we caught a bunch more. But back to our goal of finding Cedar Lake Creek. We packed a lunch and got a cooler of goodies, a couple chairs. We're going to go spend the afternoon back here and see if it's somewhere we'd like to kayak out of. I've had my kayaks in storage for damn near a decade. And I pulled them out and refurbished them, cleaned them up, and we're getting ready to go find some Texas fun. As you get back in here, there's a couple spots where the swamp covers the road after rains and the wet season. And you have to actually ford down right here into the water. Today it was dry, we are lucky. They put a cement bottom on it here though so you don't get stuck. I found this place searching around on uh, Google Earth and uh, seeing what I could find. In the area it looked like some fun. And I'd seen it listed in a uh, local kayak forum. So our hopes were high that it'd be a pretty cool place to come back to. Our cabin is seven miles the other side of the car antenna there. All right, here's the boat ramp. We're launching kayaks and the riff raft and whatnot. A little pontoon boat. We are out miles from anything. This is it. Got walking trails. Beautiful mermaid women. We brought out a lunch, a couple of beers. Plan on spending the afternoon out here.
Bob Bobcat Woods Trail. It's a mile and a half long. We're the only ones out here. We got about an hour and a half, two hours of daylight left. We gotta be out here at dark. They close the roads. You see it's pretty cool here. The native plant garden. I'm sure that's where the lovely Miss Pamela disappeared to. Up oh, here she comes. And we're going down that way. Spanish moss. This is pretty badass. Looking for gator. Nice walkway. If we'll find any bobcats, snakes, and alligators. Here we go. Looking for gator. Keep your eyes open for gator. We've seen, we've already seen one in here, out here. They're in here. As I mentioned earlier, the grounds here are just immaculate. The drives, the walks, the little picnic areas, everything is really, really well maintained. But as you get away from the picnic area, the cement stops and then you're out in the wild, you're walking the marsh on the uh, little dikes and such running around here. Putting you up right close and personal to some big old alligators. Now this is a uh, salt marsh, it's a brackish water. And it is just full of critters everywhere. This is beautiful. They got these beautiful decks scattered out here that are awesome. Benches as you go. See, you can sit out here. Like we sat at that one there in the river. Next time we sit up here for a picnic. Sit out here and watch the critters. We're still looking for another gator. But uh, these things are awesome. It's like the little hidden secret no one knows about out here. And it's real close to the, you know, for years and years and years, I didn't know this was so close to the camp. This is here. Gorgeous, look at that. Almost as beautiful as Miss Pamela here. I don't know if you can see it, but right by the white pole there, big ass alligator just rolled out, keeping an eye on us. Doesn't make Miss Pamela happy. That's all good. He's just sitting there checking us out. Hopefully you can see it. I'll zoom in for him. He's a good size one. He's an old one too. We have the algae on his back. Yeah, he just lumbered out to check us out and see what we're doing. Suddenly Pam decided picnic time's over. She says, you know, let him go walk back to the car. Well, you know, we, we, we've had enough nature for one day, she says. I think it's cool of this. Did he? Oh yeah, he's on the move. says we can't walk over there. He's back He's oh, he'd splash in and go. Family seems to think alligators are dangerous. See, I grew up watching Wally Gator, so I know better. 
fast as I've seen her walk all day. So the mission was a success, and I mapped it out from this dock to the dock at our cabin is navigable water, 15 miles whole route. This dumps out into the ICW and it takes us right back up to uh, Candy Creek in our cabin. That video should be interesting. I didn't get you out sailing today, but I did get you to the water. Like, hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss another adventure, because I'm going to take you bastard sailing. <laughs>